We can't really get them to do what they don't want to do. Yeah. One of piggies. Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Whitco in the Wild. I'm standing here in front of Gunter Brothers Meat. We're doing the continuation of the Meet Your Meat episodes. So last episode we went out to the farm and we met the pigs. And today we're here to follow along with the slaughter process and just kind of witness how that all happens. So the pigs should be pulling up any minute now and then we'll go inside and, uh, and see what happens. How's the drive up? Oh, good, yeah. The pigs have arrived and are loaded into their stall. I was hoping that this part of the process would be easy and mellow on the pigs. The reality was, it wasn't. It's obviously quite stressful on the animals. But as the farmer said to me, they live a happy, easy life that ends with one bad day. The rest of the process is about to get started. I'm feeling a bit nervous about what I'm about to witness, but that's why I'm here. The equipment is prepped. Knives are disinfected. I can hear a few pigs enter into the small room where the actual killing takes place. And then, things take a bit of a turn I wasn't expecting. So unfortunately, we were just shut down by the BC government health inspector. I guess they don't want us to show this process for whatever reasons they have, uh, which is unfortunate. I got to witness it a bit of myself, but they wouldn't let me uh, roll any cameras shut down by the government again. So that's too bad, but uh, we'll pick it up where we can and um, see what happens. When I got home, I immediately sat down and emailed the BC Meat Inspection Department. On the following Monday, as we were butchering the pig, but that's another episode, I got a reply from the Program Management Advisor. He basically informed me that they would not typically stop cameras from filming the process, and they are very open to it. I then had a chat with the Ministry of Agriculture Communications Manager, who sent me this official statement. Inspectors at provincially licensed abattoirs are focused on fulfilling their duties, primarily ensuring the meat produced is safe for consumers, the animals are treated humanely, and the operators are meeting all requirements. The Ministry of Agriculture is open to requests from media interested in the meat inspection program and in certain situations and circumstances, with advance notice, that could include the filming of inspectors conducting their duties. So yeah, that's not exactly how I thought things were going to go there, but uh, life's an adventure and we deal with what comes up. You don't really have another choice. so. I have to say I was really impressed with how the BC Meat Inspection Department um, and the Ministry of Agriculture handed, handled this. Like the, the fact that they even responded to me was, was I thought, really great. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not throwing this out to an audience of millions. I don't have huge influence on, on anything at this point, maybe one day. I'm really appreciative that they did that, that they took the time, and um, as, that they were as open and honest as they were. All right, so next episode, we're gonna be hanging out with Dave Ritzer, AKA The Honest Butcher. And uh, he's gonna kind of walk us through how you take a whole side of pig and break it down into all of its cuts and where you make the choices of what's gonna be this and what's gonna be that. And uh, we're gonna do that in my carport. So thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and feedback. My hope with this whole thing is to just take people along with my adventures and, and what I'm doing, and um, uh, I'm not an expert. I'm just I'm just kind of going through it and, and, and finding my way. So I hope more than anything that, that this just creates conversation. And um, so do that. Leave some comments. Leave some feedback. Ask questions. And you can help me build my audience here. So share it if you like it. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>